Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the BlackBerry Playbook from Research in Motion. This episode, we're going to talk about installing apps on your playbook. Now, apps are one of the things that make any tablet tick. And in this case, you have the ability to get apps using BlackBerry App World, which is an application that you have on the playbook. If you're in another application, swipe up from the bottom bezel to get to the multitasking menu. Just tap on BlackBerry App World icon to open it up. You'll be put first into Featured Apps. You can scroll side to side with the swipe of your finger to see all the apps that are featured. If you know the name of the application you're looking for, you can type it into the search window at the top right and then search for it that way. If you just want to browse, you can tap on Categories at the top to see the different type of app categories that the App World has. Tap on one of the categories to select, then on one of the subcategories. You can tap on one of the apps to get more information about that particular app. At the bottom, you'll see a screenshot, and you can swipe that sideways to get more screenshots of the app in question. To download the app, tap on the Download button if it's a free app, or on the Purchase button if it's a paid app. If it's a paid app, you'll be asked to authenticate using your account. You'll then start to download the application and put it into the list of installed apps found under My World. Then when you want to run the application, you'll swipe up from the bottom to launch the multitasking and app menu, and you'll keep swiping upwards until you see it. It's usually at the bottom. You can move the application from its current location, hold down on it until the apps start to pulse. Then drag the application with your finger to the place where you want it to be, and then let go. If you want to turn the application into a favorite app, you can drag the application all the way up to the tab that says Favorite, and then that will automatically be added to your favorites as well. When you're done rearranging the application, just swipe up from the bottom bezel. To launch the app, just tap on it and then use it as normal. Then when you're done, you can swipe up from the bottom bezel, look for it in the multitasking menu, and then click on the X underneath it. Then the app will close and free up the memory that it was using. Now one thing that's worth noting is that the BlackBerry Playbook will soon be able to run a number of apps designed for Android tablets. Now that's not all of the apps that are designed for Android tablets, but a number of them will be made available to both platforms. So it's worth keeping an eye out for that. Those aren't available just yet as we're taping this, but keep an eye out because that will be coming. For information on other things that you can do with the BlackBerry Playbook, don't forget to check out the other parts in this series. And you can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.